right. Salam tonight. And I just tell this is something a little new, a little new angle of this. We're gonna speak about the dollar bill, so called dollar bill. Remember it's not it's not a uh, real money. It's not real money. Money has intrinsic value. So this is Rastafari versus um the so called quote dollar bill or versus the money of this world. Now let's let's look at something right here for a moment. Let's look at something right here in scripture. Now you see this right here? All right. It says in uh, we're in the book of uh Zechariah, right? Zechariah chapter chapter five, right, of Zechariah. Okay, Zechariah chapter five. And it says, And I said, right, and I said, What is it? And he said, This is an ephah, right? An ephah, east. It's a Hebrew measure. We're going to get into that. That goeth forth. And he said, Moreover, this is what? Their resemblance. Do you see this right here? He said, This is their resemblance through all the earth. Their resem- resemblance. Now, we had said previously, okay, this is uh, something right here. Okay, let's deal with this right here, their resemblance. Let's look at this, okay? This is so when Christ asks about the money, whose inscription is on this money, right? Whose inscription? Well, let's look a little carefully at this. We should have probably gone to the Hebrew for a moment, but many have been speculating on this eye. Right, this eye right there. Let's bring it out right here. This eye. Get all this eye right there. Let's uh, get some of our. Um, where is the pointer that we were going to use? All right. Well, actually, let's get this right here. All right. Now, remember the verse that we had read, right? Now, I'm going to go to the Hebrew for a moment so you can see this for yourself. So it's actually five and six. So this is, you see the book right there, Zechariah five and six. Now notice what it says right here in, in the fifth verse. Very same verse, but in the Hebrew or the Jewish, right? The, the, the 12 prophets, right? So it says right here, and he said, this is the what? This is the measure that goeth forth. And he said, right? This is their, you see that right there? This is their eye in all the land. This is their eye in all the land. Right? This is their eye in all the land. Now, if you look at the bottom down here, there's a footnote. It says, this is their what? Their eye in all the land. Now, it says, according to Rashi, one of the Rambam or the the Jewish sages and rabbis, rabbis, one who has, you know, many have sought to figure out what the book means, right? It says, according to Rashi, the measure is a symbol of dishonest trading. He explains this is the measure of the punishment, right, of those whose eyes are in, let's see right here, whose eyes are in all the land to deal falsely making the effort small and the shekel great. You know, with the portion that you get small, the amount of days you can um, eat. You know what I'm saying? In other words, you get less for your money. Amos uh, VIII 8 and 5. Their punishment is carefully meted out measure for measure. Now, Kimchi, another interpreter, gives this interpretation. The measure that thou seest indicates that there is an eye above them. There's an eye above them that seeth their doings, right? Like an all-seeing eye, in other words, right? You see that right there, the word right there, eye. See that? Eye above them that seeth all their doings. Now, the RV, which is the revised version, has... This is their resemblance. That's what we just read in the in this in the King James version right there in Zechariah, right? Now if you go down here it says this is their resemblance. Then it has numbers num uh XI or numbers eleven, eleven, verse seven. This is the picture or description of them as they are in all the land or as they are in all the earth. Right? 
So this means that this is global, in other words, right, as it is in all the earth. So now let's look at this for a moment, right? Let's look at this. Now we have two different bills right here, but both of them have this particular eye, but they're both not the same. They're both not the same. Of course, they look the same. You might say, well, this one is old. Well, it, it is old. You know, but, but this one is is what we call um, um, has intrinsic value. And we're going to touch, touch on that. It has a real value. While this one here is a promissory note. Now, if you look at both of them, you'll see they look similar, right? Some might pick up on it if they look carefully. They'll see, besides this being broken into the parts because it was folded over, they'll see something very, very different about them. Now, let's see if I have that pointer. I had this pointer that might help me uh, point to some of the points I wanted to point out. Right? I put it down and must have fell. Right? All right. Well, we'll do without the pointer right now. If we can, right? Maybe we'll just, we don't want to use a pen because we don't want to mark on on here so that we keep the demonstration clean. All right. Uh, where do we put this? Let's let's put this right here. There was a point, you know, the flagpole, the mini flagpole, and right, we probably had knocked it off. All right. Well, let's uh, let's just go forward and get into it. Um, you could tell, you know, we're going to use the pointer actually. But, but but notice, still observe them. All right, let's go on this side. Let's go on this side. Let's turn it over right here. Right? Let's turn this over. Let's turn this over as well. All right? Let's turn these over. All right. Um. Yeah. Um. No, that's all right. All right, Miss Gunner. All right, so this. Notice this right here, because this it's not as clear as we would like it. You know, um, this is the federal, right? Let's put this like this. Turn this like this. There we go. There we go. Okay. It says um, the federal, or oh, it says Federal Reserve note. This is a note. All right, this is a note. Now, I know there's a lot of others out there who know these things inside out and insiders telling the truth about this and that. But this is telling to I and I people, all right? Um and those who would hear I and I voice. It says the Federal Reserve note. This is a Federal Reserve note. So we should not refer to this as money. This kind of a bill right here. This, this is not money. It is um thank you. It is we're using this other pointer but uh, let's okay, here we go. This this part right here, federal, right? Federal, right? Federal Reserve note. It's a note. It's like an IOU. You see over here, they said that this note is a legal tender for all debts, private or public and private, for all debts. Now this is a New York note with the B on it. Even though New York, New York, you know they say A, B, C, D, but this is B. Now, some say that's Babylon, the city's so great, they got to name it twice. You see down here, it's New York, New York. Now, like we said, the, the, this camera angle is not as clear as we would have wanted it, but um, we might cut this and go into a little bit of detail again. But just get this. This is a Federal Reserve note. Let's look at this right here. Let's look at this this one right here. And let's uh, put something here to uh, get some get some weight to it. So we'll use this right here to get some weight to it. All right, there we go. I have to hold this down. Now some say, why are you putting that on there? Um, why not? In fact, this, this should hold it down. All right, if it held it down, then there wouldn't be no problem there, right? Okay, you see what it says right there? This says silver certificate, All right? See, not silver surfer, but silver. You see that? Silver, right? Certificate. Silver certificate. This is a silver certificate. Now, the, the writing here is small, and from this angle, I have to read it here. It says, this certifies that there is on deposit in the treasury of, right, in the treasury of the 
United States of America. This 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 one says that there is silver, actually silver, in the United States Treasury. Over here, where they have the B, it doesn't have the B. It says that this certificate is a uh, legal tender for all debts, public and private, right? Almost uh, similar to what we have here, but there's a big difference. So notice as you carefully examine the difference between this one, see that? See what it has right there? And then this one, see what it has right there? You you always the difference right there? Down here where it says $1, right? It says $1. Let's uh, move this over. It says $1. It says $1. Remember, you have to read it from the top. And so it's saying payables to bear on demand of $1 in, what is that? In silver, right? In silver payable to the bearer on demand. To the bearer on demand. This is payable with this note here. Now, they took these notes out of circulation. Right, let's uh, lift this up, put this over here, and you see this side right here. So you can see this side of it, $1. Now notice what you have here. You have Washington, D.C. You have the Treasury symbol, right, the Treasury symbol, signature, so and so on. Now you notice that that's the difference right there. This is a silver certificate, and this right here, is the Federal Reserve note. This was original United States currency. This was original when the currency really had intrinsic value, right? And you can go into, you know, um, the history of that, which is, which is very interesting. We've seen a lot of different programs, and a lot of these different programs have taught us a lot of different things. But looking at the actual currency for ourselves is very, very interesting. Now, they took this out of circulation, right, which is actual, you could say, a certificate but representing real value. They took these out of circulation. That means you could actually demand, right, demand payable while there's law, you know, under law. You could demand silver with this currency, the original currency. Now, with this right here, this is a note. It has no intrinsic value. So instead of calling these things dollars and dollar bills and all those sort of things, you know, money, instead of calling it money, they are bills, dow, bail, bail, bill, bow, you know, the balin. You know, you could just get into that and see a whole lot there that's also biblical and scriptural. But now, Another thing we noticed just recently, some of those things we, we understood before, but there was a revelation actually we we're speaking with our earthly, you know, with our earthly mother. I don't know if she really, maybe she got it, but, you know, a lot of folks, you know, they, they get it, but they're so used to, you know, doing what they have done, you know, like a habit, pattern, regularity, you you over that, not to go deep in that. Now down here, notice there's nothing payable to nobody down here on the one that's the Federal Reserve note. So the Federal Reserve, right, it gives you an IOU. Basically, this is an IOU. Now, remember what we read in the, in the, um, the Naveen, the prophets. Remember what we read in the prophets? Where, where, where in the footnotes that Rashi and Kimchi and others give, that it, it, it's symbolic of dishonest trading, right? Dishonest trading, right? Making the... Um, the the EFA, which is the measure that you can get for this small. Right now they say that the dollar is like worth fifty cents or less or goes up and down and everything like that. So like if today this dollar can get me um four marbles. Tomorrow it might be able to get me three marbles. The day after maybe two marbles. Maybe now I can only get some some sand. Not even a marble. This this is what that means because of this this I right here. This I is their symbol. So we see the I actually. This I. Some say the Illuminati I. Ra ra ra. And and some of it is true, but we want to put in the biblical, the scriptural. This is why we we pointing out um 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 Zechariah. Zechariah. Let's look at uh Zechariah. 
Let's look at Zechariah one more time, right? Let's put this right here. Let's look at Zechariah. Okay, that fell again. Let's look at Zechariah one more time, right? Right, Zechariah, right? Uh, Zechariah, we're in Zechariah chapter 5, right? Um, chapter 5, verse 6, right? And I said, what is it? What is it? Right, and he said, this is the measure that goeth forth. He said, moreover, this is what? Their eye. Their eye, right there. This is their eye in all the land. And when we scroll down here, right, look, look down here. Now here it says that the seventh vision, there's a, the woman in the measure. The woman in the measure. See that? It says down here, this is their eye in all the land. According to Rashi, the measure is a symbol of dishonest trading. He explains this is the punishment, or he interprets rather, this is the, 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 the measure of the punishment of those, right, of those whose eyes are in all the land to deal falsely. Bad business, in other words, deal falsely. Make a deal with the devil, right? Making the ephah or the eth small and the shekel great, right? The eth, so it's like you get less, as they say, you get less for your money. And this is from the, this is from the, the 12 prophets, or we have uh, Zechariah, Zacharias, uh, chapter 5, verse 6. But now in the King James, right, notice this. In the King James, right, in the King James Version, it says, based on the Revised Version, it says uh, uh, resemblance. This is their resemblance. This is what the prophets, right, this is what the prophets have spoken of. This is what the prophets were, were um, warning of, right, and, and was, was showing, right, the prophets. Remember from a Christological perspective, a Christ-based, a, a Moshiach, perspective that Yeshua is the one who spoke through the prophets, all right? So it, this is like revelation, right? Now, so back here, there's something like an eye. I think, yeah, it is, it, it is an eye. It's a little bit different, actually. Next time, we'll try to get a closer up where it's not so much blur, right? But um, let me move this over here, okay? Now, notice something else, too. Once again, I, I began off, and I said, um, Look at the two right there and, and see if you see see if you see anything. You notice? It looks the same, right? Basically. This looks because old is a little bit more worn out. This right here is a, a comparatively a relatively new bill. This one was folded up because this was in either some pocket or I might have had it in the wallet or somebody who gave it to me years ago, so forth and so on. Do you see anything else? I know where we, we, we zoomed out. It should be obvious. This is what I discovered when I was talking to my earthly mother. Notice down here. They give you this, and they put right here, in God we trust. Then they put one right here. This is what they mean when they say we all believe in one God. They all believe in the God of this, or, or that this is a God. They call it the Almighty. They say, oh, well, that's a figure of speech. Yeah, it's a figure of speech. It's, it's idolatrous speech. A figure, that's what an idol is. It's idolatrous speech, a figure of speech. Oh, well, they don't really mean that. You, that's really almighty. I mean, everybody believes in one God. This is the one God. This is your one God, or this is the one God of the world. Now, we could go into the New Testament and speak about the God of this world and why the Moshiach, Yeshua, our black Lord and Savior, said that if, if, if my kingdom is not of this world, if it were, you know, my servants would fight. So it clearly discloses that there are many gods and lords. People say, oh, there's only one God. But the Bible says that God speaks in the congregation, right, of the what mighty. He judges among the gods. So if we were to believe them, that means that God is talking to himself. You know what I'm saying? A lot of Christian folks and the rest of them, because they, they've been deceived by the by, by the whitewash, you know, where they've been deceived by, let's put this one right here. Oh, he can't stay still. We have to prop him up, right? Well, we're not propping up so you can see who we're talking about, 1492. So we're seeing a prophecy 
working its way out. This is Cesar Bogier. So if we go down here, my name is, or his name is uh, Kaisari or Cesari, Cesari Borgia. Really, Borg. Really, Borg? Borgia. Borgia is cut off right here. Cesar Bo Borgia. And let's just turn this over. Okay, there's no more um, pics on it. But we're, we're, this is exposed. You might be able to catch this on on the internet. And there's a lot of ones who've been exposing this, but this is a relatively pretty, pretty good documentary and it also features a little bit of some of the videos that we have also made in others and it's, it's well put together because it kind of attacks and makes the point about about antichrist. Now I know this will offend a lot of folks. Some folks may be offended but the truth is an offense but it's not a sin. Ones need to recognize what the truth is. You understand? If they want to make a change, they got to look at the person in the mirror. You know, they got to look at that man in the mirror. So, unfortunately, this is this is what they're dealing with, Cesare Borgia, Borgia. All right. But let's deal with this right here. This is what we're dealing with right here, right now. Another interesting thing we had mentioned this, and we don't know what order we're going to put these vids up. But we had did another vid on this right here with the Good Shepherd, because we were just going to do like a Illuminati. Rastafari, like Illuminati review or something like that, some Illuminati movies, right? Um, this is interesting how this cover right here has this one eye too. And it's about the CIA, the story of the CIA. This is, this is I think, a boot, a, a bootleg, a boot jack or whatever like that. But down here we noticed that there was a Ethiopian, um, Nigerian uh, sister's name, a film by... Um, Oh, word. They, they must have mixed this up. Now we see what's going on here. Now we see what's going on here. All right. I, I, I was bad, but we see because it was a boot, a boot jack, a bootleg. Let's focus on our main point, and we'll catch up on that later. But you see that one eye right there. See, this is their eye. That's the CIA. CIA. This is their eye throughout all the earth. You, you see that connection even better um, with... Um, what is that again? Uh, Zechariah 5 and 6. Zechariah chapter 5 and 6. So Illuminati I reveal. Zechariah chapter 5 verse 6. Now see if we compare this over here. Maybe we use that to hold it down right there. Okay, let's hold that Okay, right here. Okay, this is good. So you see that one God. You see that one God? This is one God. This is in one. It says in God we trust and you can see this is magic. This is really a magical talisman right here. And really, if you can avoid touching it with your hands, you understand? Really do so. Don't be a phobia of fear. Because greater is he who's in us than in the world. But we know we got to handle this for a while. And they might touch ourselves or touch people. Or, you know, just you just want to be safe. Plus, when they, they found out that these bills tend to have all sort of fecal matter on it and all sort of cocaine and it's a lot of different things. The reports are out there. All right. Now let's look at this right here. All right. Let's. You notice something right there? There is no in, in, in God we trust here. This is the real money. This is silver. This is a silver certificate. It has and with intrinsic value because it refers right to transactions to honest. Silver, you, you know, these things, when they talk about investing in real metals and stuff like that, but then they don't want to really tell you uh, really everything. But if he told people, people probably won't, won't believe it. You know, people are just used to, you know, regularity and, and, and habit. Like when they talk about trauma-based mind control, there's a lot of trauma that has, you know, um, you know, based their mind in this control grid, so to speak, as, as, as Neo is told by Morpheus in The Matrix. All right, they will defend the system, you understand, which is now this system here, which now has this bill right here. If you look at it, you see that difference? Let's get the pointer again. All right. All right, let's get the pointer again. All right, there we go. You see, in God we trust, one. In God we trust, not. See, 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 see in God is not here. You see, so they put this on a bill, which is basically what they call fiat currency. Fiat currency. That means, fiat means like when you say amen or so be it. Fiat is like saying so be it. So be it. So fiat currency is like saying, 
well, let it be like real money. In other words, let, let's pretend. For real, let, let's pretend. They, they all know this. You understand? And many of them still are so shocked that all this information is going out there. And, you know, people would be all in the street. But they are preparing. If you check out some of the Alex Jones shows and others, where they're talking about how they're buying a lot of um, bullets and, and armored vehicles and everything. Some say, well, it's because of the election. But all of these things are connected because we're in this prophetic time. So we have the eye here. We have the eye here. We have the eye there, right? We have one here. We have one there. We have a pyramid here. We have a pyramid here. We have the Nouveau Auto Seclorum thing. Let me just let me just check just to make sure. Yep, it's on both of them. It's essentially one and the same on both of them, right here. Even the design is basically the same, but there's a different inscription. You know, the inscription means in script. That means what is written on it. People think the inscription is the picture. No, it says whose image, right? The inscription is what is written. So if we look at both of them, the only difference on the obverse, is that the, the back of the dollar, is the fact that it has no in God we trust. Because there's no need to fool the people through religiosity. You see what I'm saying? So something else is going on down here. And then you can see when you look at the front side, right, when you look at the front side, of 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 the dollar, so you so you see that there's no. I mean, this is this is really the point that really kind of made me say I got I got to record something about this, right? I gotta I gotta do something on this. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, you know, here we go. I gotta present this because a lot of people don't have so-called real. I say real money. I mean, this is one dollar, but still, it means that upon demand, it, you, you know, what I mean, if one are good to their word. But but here, they don't really give you any word. What they're telling you is that it's just let it be. Let's play. Like monopoly money. Some people can't believe that because other people don't believe that either. So it's like me writing an IOU note, right, and I'm giving the IOU $10. I owe you $10, so I write down I owe you $10. And I give you the note, right, and then somebody else who don't know me come to you, right, and they said, hey, can you borrow me $10? Or can you lend me? That's how people talk, can you borrow me? Really, can you lend me $10? That's a little slick, really. Can you borrow me, borrow you? What, 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 what I'm going to do with you? Anyway, can you lend me um, $10? And so what you do, instead of giving them a $10 bill, right, you go and find that note where it's like a, a Rasia Dinos Tefari note, right? Or it's, it's an I-Man note, you know. I, I might say I owe you such and such. And you give it to them. Now, if, I, if you do that today, people will be like, are you crazy, man? I can't spend this. Why? Because nobody would recognize it as this. You see, because the magical symbols and sigils and, and the spell, you understand, of the almighty so-called dollar, you understand, wouldn't be on that note. You'd be like, well, they owe you $10. Why don't you go get the $10 and give me that $10? But now let's look at it in another in another, um, let's run another program, right? Let's say that I give you the same IOU note, right? And someone else comes along, right? I still owe you $10, but I wrote down I owe you $10, right? And so someone else comes to you and say, can I borrow $10? And you give them the note. And they say, oh, thank you very much, right? And they, and they said, thanks, I'll, I'll give you back your, your, your $10 right, or later, right? And they go to the store. And they go to the person at the store, they get what they're going to buy, and they go to the cash register and give them the same IOU note that I basically gave to you. And the person at the store basically accepts it as real value. What would that say? Right? If, 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 if this was to happen right now, I give you an IOU note, and you were able to go to the store, go to the bank, and they actually give you, you know, they exchange it for their fiat currency. You know what I'm saying? You would say, wow, you got some magic. Because you saw me write the note saying, I owe you. You understand? This is the same thing as a note right here. Same thing as this note. There's no difference. Federal Reserve note. Take note that this is not money. This is a promissory note. And what do you talk about promises? Promise is a comfort to a fool. No, they regard the people as foolish. But they said at one time you couldn't really 
granted, we talk about it. It was talked about in secret, in secret societies and secret circles. People didn't really go public with that. In fact, if you try to tell somebody, say, yeah, I recognize what you're saying is true, but you know how they are. <laughs> I'll get in trouble. So, so, so don't talk no more about this. But now you see people blasting off of their housetops. You know what I mean? Some people got a whole Facebook, other kind of pages where they go into the detail. Now, there's a verse for that. There's a, there's a biblical verse for that, the, you know, a biblical verse which basically um, states that um, the people have not received the love of the truth. You know, Alex Jones is pulling his hair out, and others are also going frustrated and wondering how come people can't get this? How come they don't see that? Because you have to recognize that they say, oh, it's because they've been programmed. Oh, I'm going to try to deprogram. They're forgetting that at a certain point, yes, some people have been taken captive against their will by Diablos, by the devil. That is true. But some folks have already made a decision. You understand? They will prefer to reign in, 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 in hell. You understand? Know then be a gatekeeper in, in, in the African Zion, in, in Zion, in heaven. You know what I'm saying? But that is as it is, all right? So with that, we're going we're gonna to wrap up in a moment right here with this. But you really have to see the differences here. This says right here, a silver, let's lift this up. A silver, it says silver certificate. I know the, the, the angle's a little bit bad right there. A silver certificate. It says this certifies that there is on deposit. That means if you have enough of this, right, you, you do have, I mean, this is all, legal. they've tried to take this out of currency, out of circulation, excuse me, out of circulation, but you can see what it says up here in the fine print. It says that this certifies that there is on deposit in the treasury. And it's that little fine, fine print that you see right here. It's that little fine print that you see right here. You see? A little fine print. You could maybe take a still of it, blow it up, or, or go on the internet. They probably have scans of it, so forth and so on, out there. But we want to just show you the so-called real thing. Up here, they don't have anything, right, about the federal treasury, all right? You know, or, or not even the federal treasury. And say it says on uh, uh, um, on deposit in the treasury of the United States. So what happened here was a middleman. You understand? Or oh, middlemen came in, the bankers, the Balaam. The Balaam came in, the, 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 the so-called lords, the lords and ladies, the, 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 the so-called demigods of, of this system came in right here and started to give to people the Federal Reserve note. So if I say to you, um, you got any Federal Reserve notes? You understand? How much Federal Reserve notes you got? Make sure you understand what I'm speaking about. Because we're going to talk about real money, you know, saying, or money or even a, a certificate. You understand? What is behind it? Here is payable on demand, right? Here is payable, right, in silver. In silver right here, payable, right, to the bearer on demand. Here is not.